back to Milton Daily Homes and we're back to under 10 listings. We've got seven today. And uh, if you're looking at getting some customized daily email started where, let's say you're only looking for four bedroom homes or only a certain school district or only condos or even if you're just looking not only in Milton but in Mississauga, Oakville, Burlington, Georgetown, we can set that up for you. So if you want to go to homefinderprogram.com it's easy to get started just leave some information about what you're looking for and uh, you'll basically get the same access that we have as realtors and as soon as something comes new on the market or changes price you hear about it right away so uh and it happens seven days a week milton daily homes is only five days a week so let's get started with today's list homefinderprogram.com if you want those emails 1103 Bowering Crescent. What I like about Bowering is if you don't live on that street, you pretty much don't go on it. So it's a very street hockey friendly kind of street. And uh, the home itself is 1435 square feet. It does have a finished basement. Uh, if it's nice inside, they have a chance at this price, but this is a little bit smaller than some of the other ones that we've seen. We even saw an 1800 square foot home with a finished basement, uh, a Wyndham Corner that listed last week. I believe it was on Donnelly and it's already uh, already sold. So uh, these guys are obviously a lot smaller than that. So we'll see what happens. 926 Farmstead is 599.888. And uh, I took a look at the Google Maps. So sometimes when there's no pictures, you get any advantage you can and so I, I looked at w what it is and where it is so farmstead can be a bit of a busier street the driveway by now is probably done this was an early shot when google took it uh 1835 square feet plan for great floor plan then i looked it's sold a couple times since it was built so the the owners bought it in 2014 so just over a year ago dark cabinets uh stainless steel appliances Maybe they've improved it since this time. It does have hardwood floors. It's hard to tell if it's an eight or a nine foot ceiling. It kind of looks like an eight foot. We have uh, hardwood stairs here. I mean, the photos weren't fantastic. And we have an unfinished basement, which if you look in the listing, full does not mean finished. So full probably means it's the same condition as before it's a three bedroom the model also comes in a four bedroom you can get a loft upstairs with the three bedrooms you can get laundry plus three bedrooms so there's a lot of different iterations on this one uh, based on what we saw in the pictures before i believe it's the three plus the laundry because you could see a finished laundry space even though the basement isn't finished so there's the detective work in terms of how it's priced for being on farmstead uh, which is a busier street for the size of the home at 1835 square feet. I think they're aiming a little bit high at 599.888. I think they're going to sit around. 440 Wet Law for Terrace 682. And so it's only a little less than 1900 square feet. I've always thought that the first picture for this home should be the finished, or sorry, not the finished basement, the double car garage. So nice appliances, pot lights. Uh, great finishes, uh, California shutters, hardwood up on the second floor. It is one of the better ones that you'll find out there. The three bed or the four bedroom is, uh, I mean, you've got a laundry plus four bedrooms in a 1900 square foot home. You've got a wider lot here, but we've seen pretty nice versions of this home sell for 630, 635, and I just it would be very difficult to justify to a buyer let's call it a fifty thousand dollar premium on this one it's it's on a nice street um but i just i don't see it i don't see how that hardwood on the second floor fine you know what does it cost to put that in and even the return is not generally what you pay it's about half of that on the second floor return on investment for hardwood is much better on the main so I still think they're high, but nice homes tend to surprise you sometimes and sell for good money. Now here we go, 1573 Jarvie Crescent. Uh, this is a home that we've listed, $750,000. Beatty is a great neighborhood, and, and I've told this to a lot of people before, quite a few real estate agents live in Beatty because we all know, and myself included, we all know it. it's a really nice neighborhood. The schools are good. 
the streets. I mean, this is a 56 foot lot. You don't even find those anymore. You're lucky if a builder builds over 40 feet. Part of that is the provi provincial mandate, the Places to Grow Act, that says that we need to start fitting more and more people into a smaller amount of space. But anyway, this home is 3,000 square feet plus a, uh, a finished rack room, hardwood floors in the living dining, separate rooms. It's a really stylish, uh, artistic home, fireplace in the family room. It's all really open here. And then you also have a, uh, a main floor den too. That island is actually huge. If you come see this model, you'll see that you could pretty much lay on that like a bed. That's how big it is. There's your main floor den, and uh, there's actually beautiful built-in bookshelves right here. So it's a, a wonderful place for a home office. Uh, master with the ensuite with the shower and soaker tub. And then the master, here's the other thing that a lot of people don't think about until they move in, is the master is separate from the other three bedrooms. So mom and dad get a little bit of privacy on a home like this. Hardwood in the front uh, bedroom. Laundry upstairs. There's your finished area in the basement. And you get a nice second floor balcony. And the owners have actually said to us that uh, when the kids were younger, they used to sleep outside. They used to put sleeping bags out on the, uh, the second floor balcony. It's a great place to read a book. Uh, the daughter uh, likes to write. So there, there's an opportunity to just sit out there and just kind of watch the world go by. You're on a 56 by 80 foot lot, uh, nice front landscaping. So there you go, two different porch uh, areas, just so you can really enjoy the outside in the front or the back. And uh, I mean, the same model is for sale on winter for $50,000 more without a finished basement. So I think it's priced really well. Uh, I even like that little lens flare over in the corner here. And uh, so if you want to see this one, give us a call 905-693-9346. So 999 Sydenham Lane, 869. Uh, it is a bungalow with a loft and it also has a walkout basement backing onto green space. So there's a lot of nice things here. Uh, I don't know what it looks like inside. There's no pictures. I'll show you what the model looks like. We don't see many of them. So it's the Arrowwood. It's got two different elevations. Uh, it's on a 43 foot wide lot. So here's your main floor. Now your master is right beside your great room, like your family room. So if someone's watching TV, uh, it says a quiet wall here. I hope it is quiet. I don't know. You're going to have to test it out. Maybe put a TV on, uh, bring a little radio with you when you're coming to show the home and then see how much noise you're actually getting in the master. And so you have a uh, kind of walk-in closet. So this whole wing is your master suite, uh, kitchen breakfast, and then that's pretty much it on the main floor, except for a second bedroom, just basically in the front, opposite of the master bedroom. There's washer dryer right here. And then you've got a, a loft, which overlooks, this is all open. And then upstairs, you've got a bathroom, walk-in closet, and a third bedroom with a little nook here. And there, there are some different iterations and elevations. You could tuck a fourth bedroom in here if you wanted a smaller loft. Uh, based on what we're seeing in this listing, it says four. So that's probably what they did, a smaller loft upstairs, two bedrooms, two on the main floor, two upstairs. I don't know, maybe they have a chance. I mean, there's been some Heathwoods that have sold some nice bungalows uh, around the same size for like 850, 830, that kind of stuff this year. But what they didn't have was the green space and the walkout basement, which is generally about five to $10,000 premium for the walkout. So see what happens. So there you go, that's the list. If you have any questions, give us a call. And uh, I think the star of the show today is Jarvi, although there's a few without pictures that you know could be quite good options so we'll see you tomorrow with more melted deli homes